Welcome to the testing world. In this session, I'll show you how we can work on text boxes or text area. So till previous session, we know how we can start browser, how we can enter URL. Now we can write steps in our test cases. So first of all, I'll start with the text box. I want to enter some data into the text box. For that, we are going to use send keys method. And if I want to clear data, or I'll say existing data in the text box, we are going to use clear method. So I'll show you how we can use that. I'm just moving to my uh, Ruby mine. And previously you have seen, I have written steps for opening the browser and enter URL. So I'm just putting here that is for, this is for enter URL. And that is for starting the browser. Uh, we have seen previously how we can create driver object. Now I, I want to work on a text box. So that's a facebook.com and I want to work on facebook.com. So first of all, as we have seen, whenever we want to work on any element, first we need to locate that element and we have already covered element locators. So I want to work on this username box. I just right click on this and inspect element. I'm just finding out the element locator. Locator could be anything. We have seen many locators like ID, name, class, CSS, XPath. We have seen many element locators. I'll start with ID. So here, if you notice, ID of the element is email. So I'm just going to use like driver dot and the driver object we have created previously. That's my web driver object. By using that object, I'm going to call rest of the methods. So method is find element here. We need to pass two argument first, which locator you want to use. So I'm passing colon ID and here we are passing symbol argument. And second is, so here locator name is always need to be passed in the symbol argument as a symbol argument. So first argument I have sent colon ID. If you want to use name, so I can use colon name. I'll show you in the next step. So that's my ID. What is the ID of your element? So my element ID is email we have seen here. And now after locating that element, what action you want to perform? So I want to perform send underscore keys. And what data you want to send? So I want to enter username one whatever your username you can pass it over here so that's the first step that i have written and here i'm locating an element by its id and once element is located then enter this data into the text box i just want to execute this so right click on this test case and run tc001 now it should start browser and enter username so I'll show you. Here we have seen it started browser and enter username here in the text box. As this time I have located an element by the ID, you can use any locator. Like if I want to work on this password box, I just right click on this inspect element and you will notice we have ID here. I don't want to use ID because previously we, I have used ID. I want to use name. So what I can do driver dot find element and here I'm passing colon name. So I'm passing my element locator. I'm going to use name element locator. And again, using all the places it is using symbol argument. So I'm passing colon name here. And what is the name over there? So I need to copy that name from uh, name here is name is equal to pass. So I'm using pass. And what you want to do? I want to enter some text. So send keys. And here I want to enter password is equal to hello123. So now I have entered username is equal to username1 and password is equal to hello123. You can enter whatever your username and password is. 
I'm just going to run it. So run TC001. Started browser and it enter username and the password. So here my two steps are working perfectly where we entered username and password. So here we have seen the method send keys. We have one more method with the name clear. What's the use of the clear? If you want to clear the text of any text box, like if my text is written hello over here, first I want to clear it and then I want to enter some more text. So if I give you an example, here we have entered, I'm just taking this as a comment second line i'm not entering the password here we entered the username if i write the same line again and a b c what i'm doing first it is searching for the username box and it will enter username one then i'm searching the same box again and entering some more data so what it will do it will merge these two text first it will enter username one and then a b c on the same text box and it will be appended i'll show you So it started the browser, enter username one, and then you can see ABC. So both the texts are appended. I want my previous text to be cleared. Only after that, enter next text. So what I can do, I can locate same element again. And here we have a method with the name clear. So we can call the clear method. It is going to clear previous text. So first it's going to enter username. It will clear the text and then enter password. So I'm just running it now. You can see over here, it will enter first username one, clear, then ABC. So here we have seen two methods which we are going to use very frequently while working on a text box. One is send keys and other is clear. And for locating element, we can use any element locator. As of now, I have shown you two element locator. One is ID and other is name. One more thing I want to update over here. What is the difference between the text box and text area? So text box, you will notice is a single line text box. So if I give you an example, so I'm writing an email over here. So this is the text box, which is a single line. And that is multi line. We call it text area. If you want to work on a text box or the text area, in both the cases, you can use method send keys and clear. So that's all we have for this session. Here we have seen how we can work on the text box or text area. Thanks for watching this video. Hi friends. Hope you're enjoying this video. If you have any question regarding this video, you can ask your question in the comment section. Also, I would request you to please subscribe our channel. You can subscribe it by clicking on this subscribe button for getting notification about all the new videos which we are going to upload on the daily basis. Also, we are offering our all the video courses at very high discounted price. We have 50 plus video courses which can be beneficial for you in your daily job activities. If you are interested to buy any video course or all video course you can call or whatsapp us on this number also you can be in touch with us by using facebook linkedin or twitter happy learning